my lovely friends, welcome to another hike. This one is the Offers Dyke Path National Trail and this is part one. Offers Dyke Path is a 177 mile trail that runs along the England-Wales border, often following an 8th century dyke built by King Offa of Mercia. As well as loads of fascinating history, the trail passes through some beautiful landscapes including the Brecon Beacons National Park and the Clawidian range of hills to the north. There was something really special every day on this hike. Even the weather was brilliant. In part one. Well, this is it. The start of a 177 mile trail. Has to be said though, I can't believe I've just walked an extra three freaking miles to see a lump of bloody concrete. What is with this? Let's get walking. Let's get out of here. Well, today was a bit of a bloody washout. Train was two hours late, so didn't actually get to do much walking at all. Probably, I don't know, six miles, I should think, if that. I just pitched my tent on a field's edge. First night's wild camp on Offa's Dyke. And I'm just uh, cooking up some pilau rock. <laughs> Can't even speak. Peel our rice. <laughs> <laughs> Smells good. I just wish it would hurry up. I started the day early, hiking through steep, dark woodlands until I came out into these wonderful, light-filled meadows. Wow, look at this amazing tree trunk that I've just noticed. Whoa! Oh, that's fantastic! The girth of this is huge! Earlier that morning, I'd had a choice of two paths down to Bigswear Bridge. The higher path follows the original dike through the woods, but there's also a lower path that drops down into the valley and follows the River Wye. I took the higher path, and I'm so glad I did, because if you followed the river path, you'd just bypass these magnificent trees and you'd have absolutely no idea that they're there. So definitely take the higher, more difficult path because it's totally worth it. It's amazing. This is Big Swear Bridge. But I'm headed up this way. Why? Again? I'm going to head down towards it, I think, and walk along it for a bit here. Time for a quick break here in Redbrook. <sighs> I need some calories this morning. 
And there's a lovely village store just across there. And I'm right beside the river, which I'll show you now. It's an absolutely beautiful little spot. And then I'm about to head down into Monmouth, I think. A couple of miles more, maybe. They're so cute. <laughs> now we're talking. Fantastic views. Monmouth was lovely. After lunch, I followed the trail down through the high street to Mono Bridge and I just stopped in my tracks. I wasn't expecting to see anything so extraordinary, but it really is. It's the only bridge of its kind left in Britain. It was built in 1272, though the gatehouse was added at the end of the century, to replace the original wooden Norman Bridge. I stood here for ages watching ducks and children playing, thinking that people have probably been doing exactly the same thing for 750 years. It's incredible. Onwards. So it's been so gloomy all day through the woods and there's been lots of woodland today that this is just a real treat. Isn't this how woodland is the best? Or well, maybe in the rain and it sounds wonderful. You can tell we're in Wales. I've got no idea how that's pronounced except offer and maybe. <laughs> be really lovely to find out. This is the morning of day three. On the Alfred Strike path. <laughs> and I've just found breakfast on the floor. How lush do they look? Wonderful plum. Really tasty as well. <sighs> a good few miles already through the lovely countryside. And I'm heading on to a place called Andy, I plan to stop for a break. Catch you then. Starting to get some beautiful views of the Black Mountains, I think, which is where I'm headed today. Hope to get close to Hay on Moy. Upper White Castle. Over the moat. This is the moat. Fantastic. 
sad. Wow. He's a moose. walking What a lovely path through a cornfield. sunset to end an incredible day absolutely beautiful walking along the ridge I am totally knackered though I think I've probably done I don't know 24 25 miles today and I am depleted Excuse the early morning place. It was like way too early. Such a long day yesterday. But God, what amazing views this morning. Stunning. Not sure 
I'm planning to walk 25 miles again today. Wasn't really in the plan yesterday, to be honest. But now I'm heading down into Hay on Wai, hopefully some for some breakfast, but it's a Sunday morning, so nothing will open much before 10, so I'm just really taking my time. About three miles, three and a half miles, I guess, so let's get moving anyway. Another afternoon, another hill. Ah, oh, gorgeous views. At the end of another long day, I docked into my first campsite of the trail, and I was the only one there. Day five, just up above the campsite. Looking forward to this bit. This stretch is going to take me to about halfway on the trail. Kind of exciting. Just found a bench with an amazing view. It's like the perfect pit stop for electrolytes, <laughs> coke, and of course more sunscreen. Because just look at this. I mean, look at this view. Oh my god, look at this. Definitely want to savour for a few minutes. Further on, I took a short detour up a steep hill and found another great bench with an epic view and a quote. Look deep into nature and you will understand everything better.
I tried going through this herd of bullocks, but they're a bit curious and too stompy for my liking. So I'm just going to wait here. I might even have something to eat while I'm here. Hello, bullock. I'm sure if I did go through, they'd just follow me, but I'm too tired to um, even think about it, really. There you go, stomping. I just come up a really steep hill out of Knighton, which is the midway point on the Offersdyke Trail, and I have to say it was really disappointing. It was like the most depressed town I think I've been in on the whole way. Um, I stopped in a cafe hoping for breakfast and had the worst cappuccino coffee even that I can remember for years and years it was just dire such a miserable place and the only thing I was really looking forward to was the offers dyke center and that was closed I just couldn't believe it so midway point has been yeah disappointing but onwards and upwards and apparently there are an awful lot of upwards today so I'm carrying over four litres of water because it's going to be 27, 28 degrees I think um, and I don't know that I can get any for the next 15 miles or so um, and I believe that there are hills like this all the way so I'm going to be stopping at the top of each one that's my plan <sighs> catch you later for now thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this lovely trail and will join me soon for part two i think there might normally be some views from up here oh oh my god Oh my god, look, literally ring them out. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of new videos. Take care and see you soon.